Hello, this is Bob from Native Instruments. In this video, we will show you how to use a microphone in Traktor. By routing your microphone into the Traktor software, you are able to speak or sing over your tracks, as well as use Traktor's EQs and effects to manipulate the sound. To do this, the external audio interface or DJ control you are using needs to be equipped with a microphone input. The input signal of the microphone can be routed in Traktor either as an auxiliary input or as a live input via one of the four decks. A special case is made with the Traktor Control S2 controller, which will be explained in the last section of this video. First, connect your microphone to the microphone input of the audio interface or controller. Please note that the microphone input of Native Instruments audio interfaces, such as Traktor Control S4, only allow for connection of dynamic microphones, which do not require a power supply. If the device you are using has a gain knob next to the microphone input, make sure you turn it all the way down before connecting the microphone. Finally, make sure your audio interface is connected and recognized by your system. Open Traktor's Preferences and go to Audio Setup. Check that the audio interface you are using is selected under Audio Device. In this example, we are using Traktor Control S4. We will now explain how to connect the microphone as auxiliary input. To learn how to route the microphone signal as a live input deck, please consult the video, How to Use External Audio as Live Input in Traktor, linked in the About section of this video. To connect your microphone as auxiliary input, go to Traktor's Preferences, Input Routing, and in the Input Aux section, under L Mono, Choose the input that corresponds to your audio interface's microphone input. In our example, we choose input channel 5 named Mic in Mono, since this is the input channel of the Traktor Control S4's microphone socket. When you now talk into the microphone, you should see the incoming signal level in blue. If your device has a gain knob for the microphone, use it to adjust the volume level as needed. When routing the microphone as auxiliary input, the audio signal will be audible independent of any decks that might be playing. Additionally, you can adjust the volume level with the aux knob located below deck D. You can also route the aux signal directly to Traktor's loop recorder and edit or loop the audio signal there. If you wish to apply Traktor's EQs and effects to your microphone audio signal, or if you simply prefer to handle its audio as a regular playback deck, you need to route a signal into a Traktor deck as live input. This means that your DJ setup must leave at least one of the four decks available as live input deck. For more information about the effects units and live input signal, please refer to the videos linked in the About section of this video. The microphone input on the Traktor Control S2 controller sends its audio signal directly to the master output. This means that its signal cannot be routed into the Traktor software and it cannot be processed as an auxiliary channel or a live input deck. To set up a microphone with Traktor Control S2, turn the microphone gain all the way down, then connect the microphone to mic input, and finally press the mic engage button on the front panel of the unit. Now you should see the microphone icon on the main panel light up. Turn the gain back up and speak into the microphone to hear it playing back via the master output.